E siamo a Nyon con Owen Hargreaves, campione d'Europa, con il Bayern Monaco e con il Manchester United, ricordiamo la finale di Mosca, tutta inglese contro il Chelsea, parleremo in uh, inglese con lui. Mr. Owen Hargreaves, uh, what are you, what your opinion about uh, this Champions League? Seems uh, the best uh, clubs uh, finally are in the final eight. Uh, there is one surprise, probably only one, the Leicester. Well, Les, I think Monaco is, 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 a, is a positive surprise. You know, great young players. I think they're building something special there. Uh, Dortmund, you know, I think they've got a, a wonderful young attacking team as well. So they may be a, a slight surprise. But you're right, you know, the big teams are there. You know, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus, Atletico. Really strong European teams. And it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be an open Champions League now. After a uh, wonderful, stunning remontada, as the Spanish the Spanish people say of Barcelona against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Do you think Barcelona is the favorite number one of the competition? Well, it looks like they have a bit of fate or a bit of destiny on this side. But for me, you know, maybe I'm biased, but I think Bayern Munich have the strongest squad. You know, I think Barcelona have probably the strongest starting 11 and Real Madrid. But I think the strongest squad is, is Bayern Munich. And, you know, Neuer, uh, such a strong back four as well with all those world-class players and Lewandowski, Robin, Ribéry, Thiago. I just think they have um, a real wonderful blend of attack and defense Barcelona on the day with Messi, Suarez and Neymar can uh, can can destroy anybody as as PSG saw in Real Madrid you know defend can they defend the title nobody has done it in the Champions League era so Real Madrid with Bale and Ronaldo and, and Benzema also you know one of those teams that are heavy favorites what about the uh, Premier League teams because it's the richer competition of Europe but in this year only Leicester got quarterfinal of uh, Champions League Uh, despite uh, many, many pounds uh, were spent in uh, windows of uh, summer and also on January. What's your opinion? Why it happens? Well, I think it goes through phases. I think when I played at, at United, we went through a phase where there was English teams in every Champions League semi-final, final. I think we've fallen a little bit behind. And I think if you look at some of the world-class players, the best players in the world, you know, they play in Spain or, or they play in, in, play in Bayern Munich. So I think in terms of... The best players in the world aren't playing in the Premier League at the moment. You know, you Messi, Ronaldo, they play in uh, Bale, they play in La Liga. Um, so I think in terms of the best players, make a big difference. And I think maybe tactically we've fallen a little bit behind, you know, in terms of managing the games on these big occasions. You see Atletico Madrid, you know, maybe not the most offensive team, but very, you know, very defensively well organized. They've been in two of the last three finals. So I think we've... It's a blend of things. We're missing some of those world-class players that make the difference that we had maybe five or six years ago. And I think maybe tactically we need to adjust. And I think maybe trying to you know, play too open football and just have tactics that can win you games. You saw Manchester City against Monaco. You know, normally they should be the ones progressing into the next round. But maybe tactically you know, they, can, uh, they can do things differently next year. About uh, Italy, only Juventus is uh, the representative of uh, Italian football in Europe, in the Champions League and the Europa League. What's your opinion about Juventus and what's your opinion about Italy? Because in the 90s it was the best league, but now it's uh, suffering a little bit. Well, look, look I think it's, it's, there's a lot of things that, that play into that part. I think the infrastructure, you think about the stadiums, you look at Germany because of the World Cup, you know, they have some of the best stadiums. Um, And I think attendance, they have all those fans in the Bundesliga. The Premier League is very attractive. And because of the TV money, they're drawing a lot of the best players. I think Italy um, went through a difficult phase. But I think, you know, football is very proud there. They have so many traditional, historic teams. Juventus is the one with, with the modern stadium and the modern infrastructure. I think Juventus have done an incredible job of not only winning the Serie A, but also, you know, being competitive in Europe and um, and I think the scouting of Juventus has been exceptional you know they sell some of their best players you think about uh, Tevez leaving or Vidal or Pogba but then refreshing the team every year bringing in some great players I think Juventus is the is the blueprint is the model for 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 clubs in Italy and they are the Manchester United of you know of of Italy or the Bayern Munich in Germany I think Juventus have done a great job but now they need that competition they need somebody to come and compete with them is it going to be Inter is it going to be Uh, Milan is going to be Roma. Napoli have done a good job this season, but I think Juventus to take the next step, they need more competition in the Italian league. Thank you very much.